All right, guys, you've made it. It's time for the final leaks and rumors on the iPhone 14, the Apple Watch Series 8, Apple Watch Pro, AirPods Pro 2 now confirmed to be coming at the event. There is so much to talk about. So as always, if you're excited, drop a like. It seriously helps me out. And of course, hit the subscribe button so you always stay up to date on this stuff. Okay, so obviously I'm hyped out the gourd. So let's start off with the iPhone 14. Obviously, in summary, the pros are the big deal this year. They're getting the 48 megapixel camera, the better battery, life, the premium materials, the A16 processor, even the new front design. Where the lower end iPhone 14 and 14 Plus are just going to be slightly upgraded versions of the iPhone 13. And a last minute report from the Wall Street Journal has reaffirmed this, that yes, for the processor specifically, Apple is keeping the A15 in the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus and putting the A16 in the 14 Pros. But there's also some silver lining here. They say the A15 chip is not going to be identical to what we have in the current 13, it's going to be this enhanced version. And while there are no other details, this matches what other sources have said where yes, it will be an A15, but it's still going to be a little bit better than the A15 we have now. So that's good news. If you're not buying the pros, your chip is still getting a little bit better. However, if you are buying the pros, this is going to be the first year you get the always on display. And a new source talking with Mac rumors has shown off a number of different looks for this, which is honestly one of the more unique always on displays I've ever seen. In a series of images, we get to see the standard version of the wallpaper and then how it will look when you press the lock button to shut your display off. And like this image specifically with the subject in the foreground, it totally blacks out the background but keeps some key colors in there. And you see this across a number of examples like yes, we've waited forever, like actually forever for this to come, but I think the wait is genuinely worth it because it seems like there's so much care and attention to detail in all of these. Next up, we've gotten a look at what appears to be the full line of iPhone 14 cases, or at least the ones made by Apple. And you can see they've got the classic silicon leather cases. And notably, again, the new low end 6.7 inch model is called the iPhone 14 Plus. We thought it was going to be called the Max because it's the same size as the Pro Max, but no, that would make too much sense. So it's going to be the Plus. Expect iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, and iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I don't know how we got in this naming conundrum, but it's bad. Why, is the, why are the names so confusing? Confusing. What's also confusing is just how dead wrong we were about the notch design on the 14 Pros. I mean, we've talked about this for about a week now, but yes, once again, final leaks here. We are hearing that it is going to be connected and that it is not going to be a separate pill and hole. It's going to be one connected pill just like this. And I will admit because, hey, sometimes I'm wrong. The design is definitely growing on me. And after reading a lot of your comments, you guys seem to prefer this connected pill design rather than the two separate cut out. So it seems like Apple made the right decision for the most people and that's all that matters. Now next up, let's talk about AirPods Pro 2, which I was not expecting to be at this event, but that now is coming at this event. Mark Gurman in his newsletter just shared straight up that yeah, alongside the iPhone, alongside the Apple Watch, Apple's also dropping AirPods. More specifically, AirPods Pro 2, the second generation version that we have not gotten in three years, because it's weird to say this, but yeah, the original AirPods Pro, they are nearly three years old. From all the leaks and rumors we've heard about these, it sounds like the main upgrades will actually be coming to the case, which is going to have better Find My, a speaker on here now, and even a holster for like a loop that you can attach to your wrist. The AirPods Pro 2 Buds are also getting better with a faster chip, better audio quality, and lossless audio is also coming. That is going to be a game changer because apparently Apple has figured out a way to do that around Bluetooth using like wireless. Wi-Fi or AirPlay. They're just going to be nuts. So they're pretty much everything people have been asking for. And if they can just put like a little bit of extra battery in there too, oh my God, these are going to be the perfect pair of headphones. Now let's talk about the last product or I guess products technically that Apple plans to drop at this event, which are the Apple Watch Series 8, the Apple Watch SE 2, and then also the Apple Watch Pro. And well, now an even lower cost Apple Watch and SE squared? I don't know. We got this report from the New York Times, which I know, the New York Times doing Apple rumors, I never thought I would see the day. But yeah, apparently the New York Times is in the game now. And the Times wrote this story about how more parents than ever are choosing to give their child an Apple Watch versus an iPhone. And just casually noted here that at the event in under 24 hours, Apple's planning to drop an even lower cost Apple Watch. So it sounds like it'll be sub 200 
$1,500, which doesn't sound realistic, but also, I don't know, the Times is saying it, so maybe. Personally, I don't see how this works if Apple's got three other watches. I don't know if a fourth watch fits into the line here, but the piece was interesting. Apparently, more parents are giving their kids watches, so they want a cheaper, you know, less expensive model. I... This one's weird. I'm, I'm just I'm just the messenger. Maybe you guys can explain it, but like a, a fourth Apple Watch coming at the event, that's insane. What we are definitely getting is a new Series 8 model alongside the Apple Watch Pro. And we have a new comparison courtesy of Sonny Dixon that really shows us for the first time just how big that Pro Watch is gonna be. Well, the same 41 and 45 millimeter sizes are remaining for the Series 8s. We now have a 49 millimeter with a totally different corner radius and all new design. And obviously we've seen the images by now, it's a it's an absolutely crazy design that nobody saw coming. And while I really want to get the Pro, I don't know guys, just looking at this image, do you see how much larger that is than what we have now? Like four millimeters doesn't sound like a lot, but seeing it, I'm like, holy, that's a lot of girth. And frankly, that's more than I think I can handle. Wait, uh, n cut that. Don't, don't put that in the video. Hey, I'm just saying, I don't think anybody really realizes how large that watch is. And that was the first image that ever really put it into perspective. Okay, guys, these are your final rumors for the event. Crazy iPhone 14, crazy AirPods Pro 2, crazy Apple watches. Has Apple lost their minds? I hope, because I can't wait, and I'm gonna be into audience of the event, so I will, I, I just, there's so much video coming, so stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna go, uh, I gotta pack, and uh, I'll see you guys later, bye.